Oh. Well, there we are. Um. Let's see. Can't quite hear that. Hold that. Okay, so I can't hear this. <laughs> What's going on here? I will figure this out real quick, hopefully. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Uh, oh, I see what's going on here. Device. There we go. Maybe that'll work. No? Huh. Maybe I'll have to just use these headphones. I guess so. Well, hopefully I don't, uh, scuff anything then. Still, that's weird. It, it should have switched over to the other device, but it hasn't. I wonder how the default devices works. Hold on. It should be working, but it isn't. Wonder what's up with that. I... Oh well. If that's how it wants to be, that's how it wants to be. Let's get this started, right? See what's in here? There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, so my audio is going to be a little funky today because we're doing a little bit of reworking around the house. So it might be a little on the noisy side. Ah, yes. So now we get to putting on stuff. Uh, leg strap. <laughs> now... I did uh, kind of eat before this, so this might be a really dumb idea of mine. But I'm no stranger to dumb ideas because I have to live with mine constantly. Hey, let's see here. Is that on tight enough? Uh, Needs a little adjusting positioning wise. There we go. That should be good. I have it upside down. <laughs> I put it on upside down. That is not. Okay, it, ne it needs to be right side up this time. Make sure. Uh, 
Well, oh yeah, and I am going to be making mouth movements a lot today. Don't mind that. There's a noise gate for a reason, but I can't set one up for the machine. As much as I wish I could. That's piece one. Piece two. Okay. Can do a little jig. And there we go. Yep. Okay. I guess this gives me a chance to catch up to Jelly Cat, huh? Yeah, I wish I could have plenty of room, but unfortunately this little bedroom of mine is quite cramped. Get ready for day four! You've passed the three-day mark. That's a good sign of your dedication. I mean, I missed a whole week, but... Let's add a little challenge. How much should we increase it by? Hmm... Just a little bit for now. Oh, just by one? Be proud of the progress you're making. You've got this. I mean, I will eventually. Let's do some dynamic stretching. Hit. We got this. Oop. Ah. And this always sucks. Lunges. We got this. One more of each. Got it. Whew. Good. Spread your feet. Whew. We got it. World three. Maybe I can adjust this a bit more. There we go. All right, the dy dynamic stretch. This will be light work. I mean, we'll see. You and Ring received a new blender. Now you can buy smoothies at the general store. Smoothies are great for recovery, so try to always have some handy. Basically, keep your potions in your sack. You never know when you need to heal. Oh, I should also close this door. There we go. And welcome, Osai. How are you doing? Yeah, we got a blender. It's a really good application, by the way. 
Super Spinach Smoothie contains even more spinach than the regular spinach smoothie. Not bad. Okay, so, Osai, real quick. Do we do the, uh, the mini games here? Or do we just go straight to beating up, uh, Drago? Because I could do either, I think. Mini games? All right. Welcome to the game gym, Gold Clover. Gotta warm up after your warm up. Yeah, sure. Here you can play Gluting Gallery. Do your best to clear it. Okay, what is this? What am I doing? Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm gaming? Are you sure about that? Let's see how well I do this. Ooh. Got it. I can do this. I'm sure Jelly Cat did just as well. Your Loot Cat's probably going to be all of us. Perfect! S rank! Oh, hi, Bull Bulldog. How you doing? Loot Cat's got potential. Loot Cat placed higher in difficulty than uh, both Jelly Cat and I with the uh, automatic thing, so we'll see where he goes. He's got places to be. Acquired near misser, artful dodger. Doing good. Your game volume is off. Uh, what do you mean by my game volume is off? Is it too loud or is it too quiet? Can't hear it at all personally. Really? That's. That's very strange. Wow, congrats. Here's your bonus. Uh, yeah, can you hear it, Osai? You don't know if you can hear the game? Oh. Friends are being loud. Okay. You're excused. Uh, let me do a bit like this. Hopefully that's a little better. Phospho... Phosphophilite. One of the stone's honey collects necessary to purchase some items. All right. And since we're doing the mini games first, welcome to the game, Jim. Here you can play squat goals. Do your best to clear it. 
The lower you squat, the higher you jump. You can hear my voice perfectly clear, at least. Well, that's good, because I have had a few Ring Fit streams where I couldn't be heard at all. So that is a definite improvement over previous streams. <laughs> And that's, for the most part, all I want. Okay, what we got? Okay. Oh, this one might not be the greatest for me. It was really sensitive on on the uh, squatting. Oop, I mistimed that horribly. Oop. Oh, that's a that's super weird to work with. All right, what's my rank? B. Good timing. I, I probably could have done better, but you know I'm fine with a B. Here's my bonus money. All right, now we're on the path to beat up Drago. Hmm, I think it's around here somewhere. Ah, it's Miss Honey. What is she doing over here? Oh, it's my favorite customer. Say, I don't suppose you've seen a shining jewel around, have you? A shining jewel? I saw a bright shining jewel fall from the sky. It's sure to be valuable, don't you think? It might even sell for an extremely high price. Could that shining jewel be what I think it is? Well, we gotta beat everyone to it. Alright. Time to suffer, because I just ate. That jewel is one of my stolen powers. We gotta find it before Miss Honey does. We got this. All right. Who do we beat up? A green stepper. Chair pose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I expected it to actually attack. Hmm. Let's do some need a chest. All right, see you on the underside. <laughs> I am all the way down here. Uh. 
There we go. This is already not feeling the greatest. Oh. <laughs> I will read that as soon as I can get up off the floor. Because I cannot read from this angle. I'm, a, I'm very sorry about that. Oh. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna lay down for a bit. Jeez. <laughs> okay. I've been looking at my options for obtaining a Switch and a Ring Fit, but I'm probably going to have to buy at full my market price, if at all. That's what I did. I would suggest getting the Switch first. I don't know if there's a bundle to get it with Ring Fit, but if there is, definitely take that up. And definitely post your stuff in the, uh, the Swole Pact stuff. Because, you know, the more people there are, the more fun it is. Because it's a group effort. We're all just hanging out. Definite w will if I get it. I think right now, a uh, Lion is the one who's doing the most. Out of anyone. Oh! Someone's playing Monster Hunter. Uh, I can't wait for Rise. Alright. Maybe a monster picked it up? Huh, as if that would ever happen. Oh, you say that, but you are... Lampshading it up. All right, let's get this bread. Well, that's a lot of enemies. Holy crap. Do I? Oh, none of my blues are AOE. My only AOE is yellow. Looks like an AoE day. Yeah, I've got two AoEs. And none of them are advantages against the bulk of the group. The only one that has any advantage is Standing Twist. And I'm terrible at this one. I can't always get it to be consistent. We'll see if I can manage today. Well, I actually got it fairly consistent this time. I'm actually surprised that I could do as much as that. All right. So, honestly, one of the weirdest parts about this game, the thing that I didn't expect is how good, like, the ring is when it comes to, like, the amount of give it has. It's not, like, weak, and it's not strong, either. But it's, like, just that perfect thing where you can get a whole bunch of reps in and still feel something in the end. Oh, thank you, Kishiro, for the raid. How was your stream of uh, control? I think that's what you're doing, right? And they're dead. You're doing control? Nice, nice. What of the things did you encounter recently? 
I, I watched an entire playthrough of the game, so I'm kind of familiar with it. Two attacks, five kills. Nice efficiency. Well, my time in RPGs pays off. Warrior pose. Let's replace the chair pose, because that's boring. You joined too late and didn't hear the beginning of what you asked. Oh, I, I asked uh, how uh, control went. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. And I can't expect you to be on top of everything. Hmm, this isn't easy to find, that's for sure. Well, I'm going to find it. I got this. I don't know, I guess I finished it? Oh yeah, the ending is kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, I mistimed that. <laughs> I seem to remember the ending being kind of weird. Oh. Knee lift. Otherwise known as how I normally go upstairs, because I'm a lunatic. I'm in a kind of epilogue. Huh. That's very strange. No, help me, somebody. I'm that somebody who will help. I don't care about this silly shining jewel anymore. Somebody help. Okay. Let's try out our new warrior pose. Okay. Left leg forward. Oh, someone's playing Smash Bros. Ooh, this is calming. Switch sides. When you finish the projector slash Dylan stuff. Uh. Well, I guess I'll let you know if it is a problem. Still have some stuff left, like side missions, but you also have some new missions to do. So it's like a wind down period, I guess. I also didn't have to finish all the DLC stuff, only the Alan Wake. Huh. Let's see. Which of these has a higher attack value? Knee lift? Okay. There we go. We got this. But yeah, pretty cool that you managed to get that far already. Oh dear. It is smoothie time. Let's see. Recovery-wise, probably want to use just a regular spinach smoothie. No. The damage they're dealing is too high. Oh, I can actually use multiple at the same time. Could an AoE finish them off? Probably. Since I think I finally got Standing Twist down, we could probably do that since it does a lot of damage. But front press actually does more. Let's do that then. But good news is I now know that uh, you can use multiple smoothies 
as opposed to having to ration them. Whew. And they're dead. Oh yeah, water. That's probably a good thing to drink. Let us get some sip. Sip acquired. Water is good. Okay. Victory squat. We did it. A whole level complete. Yeah, sure, let's check my pulse. Yeah. I don't think I did too bad with the exercise. Yeah, that's how it feels, honestly. I could probably increase it. I didn't notice yet. Do you have it set up? Do you have it set up to finish a set regardless of enemies being defeated? I do not. I could... But I haven't gotten around to doing that yet. <laughs> Smoothie craft, as opposed to Minecraft. Oh. Set it up yesterday and you find it amazing. Oh, Doggo is barking. Don't mind, don't mind the hound. Someone's just at the door. Great. We've reclaimed my smoothie craft power. Now all we need are re ingredients and a, re and a recipe, and then we can make smoothies whenever we want. The sound the enemies make when they are being defeated throws me off. Rhythm when it happens in the middle of a set. Ah, uh, yeah. I figured that much. What? I'm alive? You saved me? I was so afraid. Phew. I can't put it into words, really. Thank you so much for saving me. I never would have expected to find monsters in a place like this. I never want to go through something like that ever again. That was awful. I don't even want the Shining Jewel anymore. I'm so sorry you had to go through all that to save me. Thank you so much. Here. As a, here's a token of my thanks. I hope you like it. Spinach recipe. And some spinach. Oh, a recipe. Great timing. Why don't we try making some smoothies with this recipe right now? No time like the present, right? You'll need recipes and ingredients to make new kinds of smoothies. Now I want a smoothie. All right. Let's make one since we, uh, how many can we make? We can make three of these. Might as well. Well, that's easy enough. I normally get a smoothie IRL on Mondays, but I skip today in favor of a bigger lunch. Yeah, that sometimes lunch is nice. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm wearing that. Oh, you're able to customize your looks at any time. 
That's actually kind of interesting. Catalog. Get all the news out of the way. All right. Now we fight Drago. Now that we've recovered my smoothie craft power, I'm only missing three other abilities. All right. Just knowing that we can make smoothies whenever we need them or have a craving puts me at ease. That said, Drago is just up ahead, so we need to keep our eyes on the prize. That's right. Now that we have the power, it's probably a good idea to make as many smoothies as possible right away. All right. Let's teach this dragon a lesson. His influence has completely taken over this place, too. We need to stop this, and soon. Oh, I leveled up. I wish I didn't pause to do that. We still have a ways to go, but I believe in you. That's a lot of stuff. Oop. Well, I collected the metal at least. Oop. Ouch, my money. Whew. Got a little bit of a cramp going on there. Bad time to eat before working out, right? All right, Drago, what do you got for me? $9,099 and $10,000. All right, all warmed up. Now it's time to really feel the burn. You have to stop your training at the rate you're going. I'll pull something? Not likely. That's why you stretch. But it is time to stop something else. I'm going to stop holding back on you. That's my highest attack value. Warrior pose, apparently. All right. Switch sides. Why no sound from the game? There's no sound from the game? That's weird. There's none. Hold on. I will... Let me see if I can fix that real quick.
There we go. Uh, that better? Let's, uh... Maybe that'll work. Still can't hear? But no matter. That's weird that you can't hear it. Huh. Finish the exercise? Yeah. Still, that's really weird that you can't hear it. I can hear it just fine on my end, so something's freaking out. Who cares about the sound and ring fit? Uh, Jelly Cat. Well, I didn't know that it was just straight up no sound. I thought it was quiet. Oh, well. I guess you get to listen to me the whole time. I'll try to fill the silence. Oh, oh, I, I know what's going on. Hold on. I think it was that. <laughs> so, you want to know what it was? I, uh, ex I was experimenting with OBS for a bit, trying to uh, make it so the Elgato sound doesn't come in twice. And in doing so, I set it to monitor but mute output. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say maybe o OBS is muted. Uh, it was something a little dumber than that, really, but... Hey, we got sound, and it's not duping, which is important. Well, as long as it works. <laughs> Glad to know that that works, though. Because I had a few streams where it was like double sound, and... That was not good. <laughs> well, now we figured it out at least. There we go. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Give me my smoothies. Hmm. Actually, hold up. Knee lift isn't on cooldown right now. So I'll have a grape smoothie and use knee lift. Alright. Extra damage. That's some good damage. At least we figured it out what the problem was, though. That was very strange. Alright. 
Langsam nach links beugen, im selben Tempo wie die Vorgabe. Strecke beim Heben der Arme die Brust heraus. Wechseln. Langsam nach rechts beugen. Und langsam zurück. Bauch fest. Unteren Rücken nicht beugen. This is so annoying. Take this. What you got for me? Oh. The turret section. Just what I needed in my exercise game. Hey, thanks for the hearts, mate. Nicht überanstrengen. Mach ruhig Pause. Damage. Knie heben. Schwungvolle Bewegungen. Rechts. Links. Rechts. Links. Rechts. Links. Rechts. Links. Rechts. Den Rücken schön stehen. We got this. After this, I'm gonna take a nice good sip of water. But, sir, I should exercise my German too. Oh, that hurt. Deine Herzen, sei vorsichtig. Really trying to get you used to drinking smoothies, eh? Close for sure. Good. Seiten wechseln. Beine wechseln. Langsam nach rechts beugen. Und langsam zurück. Nicht nach vorne oder hinten neigen. I lost my balance there. <laughs> Ow. Okay, just one more smoothie and I should be able to take care of him. Knee lift. Links, 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 links
Say goodbye, Drago! Maybe it was a bad idea to take a shower before I did my exercises, eh? Hey, oh! Alright. Gonna squat on Drago's unconscious body. Gotta flex on your opponents. Always. I'm still kind of impressed that this a IR uh, tracker actually works. Oh. Energetic exercise, eh? Remind me to never be your opponent. I don't want to be flexed on. <laughs> Uh, I get power from my dark influence, and I give it some, too. As long as the circle goes round and around like that, I can't lose. Fight me for as many reps as you want, but I'm always gonna... You're always going to leave the gym sore and bruised. Say what you will, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do some knees to chest on your face. Oh. How is it that he's still got so much power? Seems you can't take Drago down until I do something about his dark influence. I'm still missing three of my powers. Once you reclaim the rest, maybe then... Well, before that, we need to catch up with Drago. Hmm. It looked like... Drago was heading towards the kingdom of Sporta. If that's really where he's headed, he may not be able to reach wreck uh, too much havoc. The nation of Sporta. Yeah, let's call it here and move on to Skies of Arcadia. That was a good day's work on Ring Fit Adventure. Congratulations on clearing World 3! That was pretty scary when Drago started throwing crates, huh? Now then, let's move on to the cooldown. Let's go over today's exercise. Okay, gotta do some screenshots here. Because these are important. Don't miss these jelly cat, loot cat, if you're in, uh, if you're in here right now, remember not to miss these. Very important. Okay. Screen one. Okay, that's screen one. And then we work on screen two. Oh, hey, guess what? Your total knee lift reps have hit 200. I think nobody would object to calling you the knee lift saver. Now then, what do you say to a little stretching before your body cools down? Let's stretch. You've been working with your lower body a bit more today. For this stretch, we'll be focusing on your lower body. Oh, I like that it actually detects the, which one you're doing most. Won't need the rain cone. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your abilities. Right leg forward and your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. Okay. Fresh vegetables are a popular choice, but frozen vegetables are also a good option. Shift the center of your balance forward and stretch out the opposite side. Weight training can help you become stronger. Yes. 
langsam zurück. Winkle das linke Bein an und halte den Fuß hinter dir. Ziehe das Knie nach hinten, um den Oberschenkel zu dehnen. Und stretch the front of your thigh. Oh. Und nun die andere Seite. I do the same on the opposite side. My balance is not the greatest for this. Kit makes this look easy. You can use a chair or a wall for balance if you need to. Luckily, I have plenty of walls. Und langsam zurück. Stehe breiter, berühre die Knie und gehe dann in die Hocke. Ah, yes. Drehe die linke Schulter nach innen und dehne das linke Hüftgelenk. Blicke wieder nach vorn. Dehne nun das rechte Hüftgelenk. This. It feels really weird, but it, I got this. Langsam zurück. Verschränke die Finger vor dem Körper. Halte dich etwa in Sitzstellung und strecke die Arme nach vorne. Be sure to eat a healthy diet. Always. Und langsam zurück. Hebe beide Arme und umfasse den linken Ellbogen. Das Ziehen des Ellbogens dehnt die Oberarme. Und nun die andere Seite. Dehne dich langsam und halte nicht den Atem an. Und langsam zurück. Das Stretching ist zu Ende. Gut gemacht. We did it. Good job, thank you. Now, here are today's tips. Eat balanced, nutritious meals. Consult a doctor if you have any questions about your diet. That brings us to today's theme. Tell me more about fruits and vegetables. They can provide many nutrients. You can eat many. You can get many essential vitamins and minerals from fruits and vegetables. However, some nu nutrients are rarer and harder to get from plant-based foods. These include protein, iron, calcium, zinc, and vitamin B12. Make sure to eat a balanced diet with a variety of foods, and consult your doctor if you have any questions about your diet. Say, you increased your difficulty level today for today, didn't you? How did that work for you? Could you keep up with the extra load? Actually, yeah, I could. Great, in that case, keep at it. That's all for today's cool down. Great work today. Get some rest. We did it. All right. Here's the part where we exit this take off all the stuff uh, still can't believe that I had initially put on the leg strap backwards okay so put this into sleep mode and We will now begin the transitionary period into Skies of Arcadia. Now, okay, a little bit of a pre-warning before we get started on Skies of Arcadia. I actually know very little about this game. Compared to uh, most games that I have covered in on this channel, I think I have the least knowledge about it. Gonna have to leave for a bit. One small task to do. Not sure how long it'll take. And that's fine. Hey, best of luck with it, whatever it is. I know how that be. I leave quite frequently when it comes to streams. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna have to adjust a few things to get back. 
such as the game, because that game is too much. All right. Regular expressions, programming, gruff. I mean, that's fine. See you later, uh, Bulldog. Let us this back to where it belongs. There we go. So now we're back in our normal position. And now we begin to work on... Oh, I should probably change the stuff. Uh, category. Guys of Arcadia. There we go. Turn off the Elgato display. Let's get this captured, yeah? Cool. It's on the bigger end, isn't it? It's uh, not capturing properly, though. I'm noticing that. Hold on. Filters. Oh. It's also got no audio? Hmm. I'll have to figure this out, I guess. Oh. There's the audio. Maybe that'll be more consistent. There we go. Alrighty. Okay. I'm gonna toy with the game a little more because it's still a little too loud. I'm trying to make sure that it stays in the yellow because yellow is good. Let's uh, get a crop going on here actually. Let's start with 200. Also no. I probably should have done this bit like prior. But uh I am not of the bright variety. But here we are with uh Skies of Arcadia. That might be a little on the loud side actually. Hold on. There we go. Well, time to see what this game's about, because I've heard a lot about it. Oop. Please select whether or not you wish to enable the controller rumble feature. Yeah, sure, why not? The rumble feature has been enabled. The rumble feature may be toggled on or off at any time from the options menu within the game. It's a big ship. Uh, princess? Finally found her. Admiral Alfonso. Her ship's in range of our cannons. Excellent. 
Prepare to fire concussion shells on my command, but avoid hitting her ship directly. We need her alive so we can question her. Fire. I think you hit her ship directly. Excellency, the girl has been knocked unconscious, but she's un unharmed. She's been taken aboard our ship. The Empress will be very pleased with me. I'm sure... I'm sure to be rewarded rather handsomely, I might add. What? Where did that come from? It sounded like an explosion. Status report. Now. The, the lower hull has been hit. Someone is attacking us. Attacking us? Who would dare attack a vessel of the Imperial Armada? Armada. There's a small ship hiding in the clouds off the port side. That that flag. Air pirates. Pirate scum, don't you know that we're Baluan Imperial soldiers? Of course I know, that's why we attacked your ship. You guys have the best stuff. Hey, I'm Vice of the Blue Robes, and in a few moments I'll be relieving you of all your valuables. Attacking all by yourself, you're either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. We'll be tossing you overboard. Wait for me. Nice, you left without me. I'm not going to let you have all the fun. Oh, hi, I'm Aika. I'm a blue robe like Vice, and we're robbing you. You dare mock the Valium uh, Empire with your insolence. Kill them and toss their corpses over the side. I'm just doing the normal stuff. Attacking. Point in resisting. Throw down your weapons and hand over your ship. Imbeciles, what do, what do the two of you think you can do against the five of us? Take them out. I think you miscounted. I only see four of you. Dad, we'll take care of these guys. Make your way to the bridge and shut down the engines. And when we're out of here, remember it's Captain, not Dad. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. 
Micah, shall we go introduce ourselves to the captain of this ship? I'm ready when you are. Alright, let's go find the bridge. Let's go! You received a Saku Crystal 1. This is definitely on the older side, I can tell by the way it controls. Alfonso. Well, well, air pirates have decided to infest my ship. I, Alfonso, cherished, cherished son of Valua's most distinguished family, and an admiral of the Imperial Armada. Normally, low lives such as yourselves would never have the opportunity to bask in such greatness. Consider yourselves fortunate. Yeah, right. Who's the girl? I never thought of someone of your stat stature would stoop to kidnapping. Huh. You're very observant for a rogue. However, I cannot waste my time dealing with you. I simply must get going. I think I shall have you exterminated like the pests you are. Dispose of them. Oh, he said it for me. I love how the music sounds like it's a MIDI. some damage here. Well, there's, I guess, the beginning of the game. You wouldn't want it too hard, but... was learned. Hey, I got a crystal for that earlier. Nope. Okay, so there's random encounters in this game. What does Sakura do? Oh, uh, I'm going to assume that it's a healing thing. Yep, it's healing. Yeah. Whoa. Ha. And he's just straight up dead. In the background, like the other characters, like attack each other and like block attacks. That's actually kind of a unique detail. was learned. I'm going to assume that that is fire. What? How did you defeat my soldiers? If you want my ship that badly, you can have it. I'll get another. I am very busy. I do not have time to deal with you personally. Now, if you'll excuse me.
Receive Magic Droplet 2. What's this? Oh, it's a save. over this way. Oh, so that goes outside. I actually really like the graphical style of this game so far. It's got a lot of charm to it, as did a lot of uh, Dreamcast games, actually. Your Excellency, the sun is up and visibility is good. The preparations for your escape have been completed. Good work, I've finished my preparations as well. Preparations to dispose of a traitor. What? Please, Your Excellency, what are you doing? I cannot tell the Empress that I lost my ship to air pirates in a fair fight. I'm going to need a scapegoat and you'll do quite nicely. To keep my glorious reputation from being tarnished, you must be sacrificed. N no you can't do this! Uh... Even in death, you'll serve me well. Can't wait to tell the Empress. Empress, my own vice captain betrayed us and allowed the air pirates on board. I could do not but dispose of the traitor myself. So this is how Valua treats its people. What? Now that we've taken control of your ship, we'll be taking the girl as well. There's one more thing I need to do. After seeing you kill an unarmed man in cold blood, I cannot allow you to walk away from this. Draw your blade, Alfonso. An uncivilized rogue such as yourself wants to challenge me? You aren't worth my effort, but perhaps you'd like to meet one of my pets. Come, Antonio. First boss. Let's go. What? What is that thing? He's my personal war beast. I was going to leave him here, but it seems I found a use for him after all. Antonio, trample the pests, and make their deaths as painful as possible. Oh, he big. No descriptions for any of these. But Sacra Crystal I can understand now that I know what Sacra does. Yep, it's the same as the spell. Did 
took some pretty heavy damage there. We'll wait for her to take a bit more damage. Unless... We'll just have that happen for now. Because right now, that Thunder of Fury does so much damage, it's best to uh, prepare for it. Is nice. Moons, give me strength. Okay, I'm not sure what this focus thing does, but let's try it out. That this uh, plays out in my favor. the, uh, you know, the bosses just exploded into fire and stuff like that. Moonberry. <clears throat> ah, perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Well, Vice of the Blue Rogues, you will rue this day. The day you stood against the value and empire, we shall meet it again. They always say that we shall meet again. <sighs> you coward, what kind of commander sacrifices his own men and his ship to run from a fight? Well, even though he was a coward, he was a coward with gold. True, I suppose that the ship and everything on it officially belongs to us now. We haven't had a catch this big for quite some time. The people back home are going to be impressed. And look at this girl, I've never seen anyone dressed like that before. You're right, she sure doesn't look like she's from around here. I wonder why Valua was trying to kidnap this girl in the first place. Hmm. I wonder where she's from. This place... Am I... Am I home? Fina. Fina, you replace Rami, the moon. Elder. However, watch yourself. Do not allow trust. Elder. How is she, Vice? Hmm, her breathing's more regular now. I think she'll be alright.
Hey, look, she's coming too. Need to get physics. Where am I? You're aboard our ship, the Albatross. I'm Vice, don't worry, there aren't any value in troops around, so you'll be safe here. Y yes, um, thank you very much. You don't need to thank us. The Blue Rogues are always there to help people. <laughs> My name is Aika. It's nice to meet you. Hey, could you tell us your name? My name... My name is Fina. So, where are you from exactly? She just woke up. You don't need to start interrogating her right away. See, now she's scared. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean any harm. Excuse me, but I have a question. What exactly is an air... air pirate? What? You were out sailing all by yourself and don't even know what air pirates are. Oh, I... I'm sorry, it's my first time traveling. Basically, air pirates are sailors that attack other ships and steal their cargo. Attack? <laughs> you don't have to worry about us. We're blue rogues. See, air pirates are divided into two factions. The blue rogues and the black pirates. The black pirates will attack anything in the sky, especially merchant vessels and unarmed ships. However, we blue rogues only take cargo from armed ships, especially the Imperial Armada. We rob from the rich and keep the gold, but we use the gold to save people that need our help. That's why we helped you. Don't worry, we aren't trying to kidnap you or anything. Just relax and enjoy the trip. Um, sure. Bye, Saika. How long are you going to sit there chit-chatting? Come to the bridge now. Oh no, I completely lost track of time. Oh well, I guess that means we have to go. Alright, Fina, we'll see you later. Try and get some rest. Hey, uh, oh, bless one? Is that how you say your name? How are you doing? I'm doing just fine on my end. I got it. Nice. I've just started playing, uh, Skies of Arcadia. First time, actually, so a lot of this is quite blind. Hey, Vice, that raid earlier was pretty good. It's been a while since we raided a Valu Valuan ship. If you're wondering what we did with the Valuans, well, when they heard their fearless leader abandoned ship, they surrendered. Captain Dine just let them go, though, well, after we took all their treasure, of course, and there was a lot of it. We'll take what we can, but only fight when we need to. That's what separates us blue rogues from the black pirates. You search skies of Arcadia, and here you are. I take it you're uh, someone who really enjoys this game, or were you looking to get more info on it? Because sometimes when I'm looking at games, I try to just, you know, get a better grasp on the game itself before I play it on my own. That's what I did with Bloodborne back in the day. Oop. There we go, ladder. You're late, Vice. I told you that you need to be on time for your shift. There was someone else I checked playing. He was a turd. So, yeah? What do you mean by, uh, that? Was he just, like, rude? This game is great. I've heard that a lot, and, you know, I've, I've been just trying it out, seeing what the fuss is about. And so far, I actually really like the way the combat system is. Though I haven't, you know, done a whole lot in it yet, so... He was very rude. Oh, that's a shame. So far, my favorite things about this game is the graphic style. I love the way, like, a lot of Dreamcast games looked. 
I'm I will never not be disappointed by the fact that I that the Dreamcast was the only system we had that didn't work. Forever a shame. You know the routine, swab the decks and they better be clean. But, but Dad, I was only a little late. On a ship, being a little late can cost lives. And one more thing, while we're on board, it's not Dad, it's Captain, got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. We're heading home to Pirate Isle. Go report to Briggs. See if he needs you for anything. Let's see. Who is Briggs? Oop. <laughs> I'm not very good at doing this uh, classic control style, am I? So, Briggs... Was this Briggs? No, that's Luke. But he had something different to say, and I skipped it. And this is just the provisions room, so I don't think we need to be there. And this... This is just a bedroom. Gotta be one of these doors. How do you like streaming on Twitch? I've had a lot of fun with it, actually. Uh... I try to stream regularly, but, you know, with a retail job, that's not always the easiest. Uh, shoot. Where to go to meet Briggs? I'm wandering in circles here. Okay, Briggs must be the guy that was up front then. But yeah, I think... I think I started streaming more regularly around November. I started with uh, Shining Force on Mondays, but while I like the game, I don't think it's a very good streaming game, if that makes any sense. Land as the navigator. While you're at the helm, watch out for Skyris. Those are really strong downdrafts that surround Pirate Isle. If your engines aren't strong enough and you fly into them, the, wish, the wind will push you down into deep sky. The pressure down there would crush us. Oh. That makes sense. Do you feel like it's slow-paced? Um, it's very slow-paced. And a lot of the problem that uh, Shining Force has when it comes to streaming is that since it's a strategy RPG where there's, like, minimal happening, visually speaking... There's not a lot to watch. It's a fun game, but like, as far as strategy RPGs go, it's very static looking in comparison, if that makes any sense. Oh, hey, you're Briggs. Oh, there you are, Vice. You finally decided to join us on the bridge, huh? Hmm, well, we're headed back home to Pirate Isle. Pirate Isle is southeast from here. Just head south first, and it's past the Valley of Islands. Head south to the Vi Valley of Islands? Aye, aye. All right, let's get moving, then. Full speed ahead to Pirate Isle. I hope they don't expect me to memorize that. My uh, memory is not the greatest. Oh, they expect me to remember that. Vice, before we set sail, do you have any questions that you wanted to ask me? Just to be safe, how exactly do I steer this thing? I never thought I'd hear you ask something like that. Nevertheless, pay attention. Using the control stick, you can move forward and back, turn left and right as well. Control your altitude by pressing the R and L buttons. R will raise the ship, L will lower it. Control stick works as well, huh? Whenever you want to search anything, or whenever you're near a dock at a harbor, just press the A button. Don't laugh at me, Dad, or Captain, but I don't remember the way home from here. Could you tell me where to go? How do you expect to become a good sailor if you don't pay attention to where you are? Just head southeast from here. You'll recognize the island when you see it. Hopefully, hopefully. If you get lost, you can check. You can t look at a map by pressing the Y button. Okay, that's helpful. Also, if you run into monsters on occasion as you're sailing, 
Also, you'll run into monsters on occasion as you're sailing, and if you do, run out to the deck and take them out. One word of warning, there are these monsters called Maroka Marokas that live around here. They're pretty tough. If you're not doing much damage on your enemy, try hitting the Y button to change the properties of your weapon. It might work better. Alright. Well then, full speed ahead. Destination, Pirate Isle. Wait. Right said, like, it's now the east. Oh. I see. I get it now. What are these things? Gaslings. Oh, I can still hurt. I didn't even think about that. Uh, hopefully she does not get down. Nice. Not as nice. Okay, Vice will continue to attack. But she doesn't even have mana. I wonder if she can get it back by focusing. These things remind me of something. I'm trying to remember what. Ow! We'll see if that recovered mana at all. Oh. This is the little... They sort of look like jellyfish. They remind me of something else from the sea, and I'm trying to remember what it is. It's, um... It's a... I think it's a type of squid. I... I think they might have even just called them just straight-up sea angels. Okay, she did not get any mana back from that. Oh, Vice is just straight up dead. Here goes. Oh, and Ika can't do enough damage to kill them. That's not good. Well, that's an early game over. Maybe I should have rested in that bed. <laughs> Will be saved. Um. No. <laughs> oh no. Might have to redo the boss. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to redo the boss. <laughs> oh no. That's not great. <laughs> not great on my part. <laughs> Oh, dear. Yep, all the way back here! <laughs> okay. Does this thing, like, heal at all? Or is it just, it saves? Discoveries, options. Uh... 
Well, okay, let's try not to do it this time. <laughs> oh, what version of the game is this? Uh, it's GameCube. The only version of the disc that I had. I can't tell you if that's rarer than the normal version or not. Uh, it's just the one that I had. I have a few GameCube discs laying around, and let me tell you, doing ISO dumps on these things, not easy. Like, not at all. One of the harder things to do an ISO dump on, actually. I, I try to make sure that even if I'm emulating, I make sure that it's like uh, something that I personally own. Legends version goes for sixty to hundred dollars a month. Well, that's not too bad. I I've definitely seen worse. Uh, have you ever heard of Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle? That's like four hundred dollars. Hala dala, hala hala, get dala. <laughs> okay, I skip through this because I've already seen it. This poor dude just doing his job gets thrown overboard. Four hundred was that game sealed? No, no, that's just what you get normally for like just the disc of Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. It was a game on the PlayStation One that did not really sell very well. Yeah, it is an expensive game. I technically own it. Technically. And by technically, I mean I have it on the PlayStation Vita. Because they sell it for like $20 on there. I should charge my PlayStation Vita. I haven't done that in a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with Vice and focus with her Ica, because I want to get that uh, Cutlass Fury as soon as possible. Oh, but she's going to need to heal first. But yeah... It'd be great if this game was on Steam. I tried getting it through other sources and it just lagged. Oh, if they made a remaster or like just ported it like a Sonic Adventure, that would be so nice. I I would buy it. Sega, if you're uh, Sega, if you're listening, I'd buy it. My wallet's open. You got an opportunity. What, what health was uh, Vice on? Okay, Vice is actually good. I guess if you're listening. <laughs> yeah. Here There's another game that Sega has that, like, they're kind of neglecting, and I'm trying to remember what it is. Actually, okay. There's not just another. There's a lot. Because <laughs> Sega... All things considered, Sega makes some actually really interesting games conceptually. Uh, and I wish that they would, uh, you know, port more of those over. Because, uh, actually a good example is Panzer Dragoon Saga, a game that, for all intents and purposes, was almost lost to time. because at the time, no one really had any, like, ROMs of the game. There's no way to emulate it officially. And the emulators, like, the unofficial emulators, for the longest time, couldn't even run it properly. Because the Sega Saturn wasn't exactly easy to emulate.
them. Hopefully one of these days they have like a compilation pack of a lot of like more obscure Sega games. That would be perfect. Pack again. Get some focus in on there. Even if they would make them available for download on Switch, yes. Uh, that does remind me. Um, it's not Sega related, but uh, Team Ninja is actually making a compilation of the Reboot Ninja Gaiden series at some point. And as much as I both love and hate those games, I'm definitely getting it when it comes out. <laughs> Uh, those games are infuriating, but I love them. Wait, what am I doing? Sounds like a love-hate relationship. Oh, it is. I'm pretty sure just about anyone who's played that series has the exact same opinions on it. If I could compare uh, the reboot Ninja Gaiden series to anything... Have you ever played Devil May Cry? Imagine if the normal mode of Devil May Cry was like the Dante Must Die difficulty, and then make that, you know, like I said, the normal mode, and it only gets harder from there. That's pretty much what Ninja Gaiden Reboot feels like. The very first boss wiped the floor with me, like, several times when I was younger. Nope. You've seen other play others play DMC? I've actually been playing it myself. I've been playing through it uh, all the like, through the franchise, uh, every Friday. Currently, I've only beaten one and two. And if I had to recommend either of those two, stick with one. Skip two. Like, n n no joke, just skip it. It's really boring. <laughs> But, I've also been playing through 3, and I've almost beaten it. And 3 is so good. Like, if you have an opportunity to play 3, play it. It just feels so good to play. Uh, there's the HD collection on Steam, I think for 30 bucks. I know weird pricing, but I guess it's $10 per game. Uh, you'd get Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3. And if you want to play 2, you can play it. You see, I played uh, DMC 2 because I wanted to understand why everyone ragged on it as being the worst of the entire franchise. And I kind of figured out why. It's not, like, a straight-up bad game. It's just a dreadfully boring game, which, honestly, I would say is worse than it being bad. Because a bad game you can laugh at. A boring game you can't get any entertainment out of. <laughs> wow, 
Why did they change his appearance? Dante, that is? Dante's appearance changes in every single game. In the first game, he had just the red, like, leather jacket? I don't know if it was leather exactly, but it looked leather. And then in 2, they gave him, like, I don't even know what it is, but I honestly like Dante's design and Don't May Cry 2 above all designs so far of the ones I've played. And then in Don Devil May Cry 3, he's supposed to be a younger Dante, because it's a pretty cool game. Though, if you're asking about the reboot DMC, that's because of Keiji and Afune, who led a westernization approach uh, for Capcom in the early 2010s and late 2000s. Uh, he's the reason why we got things like the Bionic Commando reboot, um... There was something else that he had done with the westernization. I'm trying to remember. Though we did, it's not as though the westernization was all bad, though, because the DMC reboot, as far as it as a game goes, I hear is actually really good. I don't know myself yet, because I haven't played it, but another thing that the, came out of the westernization of Capcom was actually uh, Dead Rising. A really good franchise, actually. Well, aside from 4, but we don't talk about 4. <laughs> but I, I really do enjoy uh, content from, like, Sega, Capcom old Konami. I have to specify old Konami because new Konami is well not good. Which is a shame honestly because they've yeah I noticed Dante's hair turned brown. Oh that's that's reboot Dante. Because in all of the mainline series, they, like, actually dropped the reboot almost immediately. So they released the reboot, and then right after that, uh, just completely dropped the thing. Okay, there's gotta be, like, a save point around here or something. Or can I just save at any time here? But, uh, you can save while you're sailing on the ship. Oh, okay. Is there, like, a resting point where I can get all of my health back and, uh, mana? Because that's what I'm low on right now. Or did I just get, like, really unlucky with, uh, the enemy that spawned there? barrel is stuffed with all sorts of preserved foods. It's important to eat right, especially on long voyages. Actually, wait a minute. I think I've still got my crystal. Not sure. I think the crew members could heal you. Take what we want, but we'll only fight when we need to. Okay, so he's got nothing different. Oh, maybe the lady could heal me, actually. That would, that would kind of make sense. Are you feeling any better, Fina? Oh, and don't worry, you're free to walk around the ship if you want. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Thank you for all you could have done for me. Okay, so she's got nothing else to say. I mean, if I can't heal, it's probably just that I screwed myself over at some point, which is entirely possible. Sometimes I do that. I'm not exactly the greatest at uh, maintaining my health if uh, my Devil May Cry 
playthrough is anything to go off of. Vice, before we set sail, do you have any qu- Oh yeah, I, I, I know how to do it. It's a short trip, you should be fine getting to the island. Alright, so how do I save well here? A start to save. Ah, uh, okay, thank you. I wouldn't have known that, because I don't have... Uh, while I have the disc to this, I do not have the manual. In fact, a lot of my manuals are missing. I don't even think I have the manual to Piano 3 anymore. I miss manuals so much, man. Like... I used to read those things when I was coming back from, like, school after getting a new game. That was... that was my pastime when I wasn't playing games. Yeah, they don't add them anymore. Yeah, it's... it's a darn shame. Oop, different enemies this time. I think the manual that I mulled over the most was uh, Resident Evil 4's manual. Values. Green didn't seem to do much. Or was it red that wasn't doing much? Oh, thank you, blessed one, for the follow. Oh, that was a miss. It was the red one that wasn't doing damage. My bad. Did it just like gently just go? Boop? Just like give me a gentle slap. Let's try green this time. And Ika, please hit. Ika might need to heal next time. Okay, the loopers might actually have a high... Oh! That's a lot of damage. The loopers might have a high evasion stat, I think. more attack from Ica. Or the looper could run. That works too. Nice damage, Ica. That was easy. Well hey, we didn't die this time. <laughs> Maybe I didn't manage my uh, healing well enough. Which, that's probably what it was. I wasn't managing my healing well enough the last time I was playing through that. What is your favorite game company? That's actually a really tough question, because I like a lot of them. Um... Hmm... Hey! In terms of games that have come out... Probably Square Enix. I love a lot of their RPGs. I still haven't played all of them, of course, but I, I need to get on that at some point. But I also really like Capcom. When I was a kid, I used to be a huge Mega Man fan. 
Never was really good at them, but I did unlock uh, Mega Man The Power Battlers 1 and 2 in their anniversary collection on the Xbox. Ah, those were the days when I had enough time to unlock things. I... I didn't read. I'm feeling much better, thank you for your concern. <laughs> no problem, I'm just happy to see that you're well. Looks like we'll be reaching the island soon. Island? Y you can see it right over there. That's our base. Pirate Isle. Pirate Isle. Pretty small. Capcom, they make DMC, right? Yes, uh, Capcom has made Devil May Cry, they've made Mega Man. I'm trying to remember everything that they made, because they made a bunch. Let's see. There's another game that's like right on the top of my... They made Monster Hunter, that's it. Monster Hunter. That, right there. Monster Hunter. My bread and butter. I'm so excited for, like, Rise. It's gonna come out next month, and I'm probably gonna be playing a lot of it. Oh yeah, it's Street Fighter 2. I'm not as much of a fighting game person, to be honest, but I always did like watching people play fighting games, and Street Fighter is one of the more fun ones to watch people play. It didn't... Okay, I'm trying to remember... I think... Capcom made... a... RPG or two, and I'm trying to remember which one they made. Weapons, armor, gold. Now this is a great catch. One of our best yet. Tonight we should celebrate. Yeah! Well, Fina, this is what we do. What do you think? Well, it certainly looks challenging. <laughs> challenging, huh? Well, now that you mention it, it isn't easy, but it is fun. Oh, actually, another good uh, company example. Uh, from Software, creators of Dark Souls, Bloodborne, uh, Kingsfield, Echo Knight, and The Adventures of Cookie and Cream, which is the only thing... Well, no, wait, no. They made a Monster Hunter side story involving felines at some point. But for the most part, out of their original content, The Adventures of Cookie and Cream is one of their most unusual because they tend to have a really dark look. Adventures of Cookie and Cream hungry now? Uh, now I am, and I just ate. I haven't finished my fries. I should do that after I finish a uh, stream. This is the underground port inside of Pirate Isle. From the outside, the island looks like a quiet, peaceful village, but the inside of the island is where our headquarters is located. There are armories, shops, and even a tavern inside. Come, we'll give you a tour. Vice. Come to my office immediately and bring that girl with you. Vice, I wonder what that was all about. I'm not sure, but we'd better hurry. You know how my dad gets when we're late. But yeah, like, a lot of From Software's games tend to be of the darker, slower-paced sort. Kingsfield, there's a lot of uh, death around every corner, and Echo Knight is about solving murder mysteries. And then you've got The Adventures of Cookie and Cream, where you platform through very colorful worlds with a friend and try to cooperate using one controller. Yes, one controller. 
So it was a PlayStation 2 game, and what would happen is you would hand your, like, the other side of the controller to a friend. They would be playing using the face buttons, and I think it was R1. And you would be using the D-pad and L1, and you had to complete your uh, levels within a time limit. If you ran out of time, it was game over. And I remember it being actually a lot of fun, but I, you know, never really had anyone to play with. Maybe that'll change one of these days. Sounds intense. Oh, it is. It's a From Software game. You can't not have a From Software game and have it be, like, you know, difficult. It has to be a difficult game with them, it seems. I don't think they've had a single game in their lineup that was easy. Well, except for maybe like one or two Armored Core games. Vice and Ica are reporting for duty, and we brought Fina like you requested. Hmm, <laughs> you're a little late. I'll let it slide this time. Come on over. Young lady, I'm dying. The Captain of the Blue Rogues. There are a few questions that I want to ask you. Will you answer them for me? Of, of course. I've been sailing for a very long time, but I've never come across anyone wearing clothes like yours. What country are you from, and why were you traveling alone out there? Captain Dine, you worry too much. Fina is just a normal girl. Silence, Ika. I'm the captain here, and it is my duty to protect the safety of my family and my crew. This girl is a danger of any sort to you or any of my men. I cannot let her live. Huh? But, but... Fina, it is your turn to speak. Fina, I, I cannot say. Why is that? Is it because we are air pirates? Don't you trust us? No, that has nothing to do with it. I thank you with all my heart for saving my life, but I cannot tell any living soul about the purpose of my quest, even if it means sacrificing my own life. I have no intention of endangering any of your lives. If you believe anything that I say, please believe this. Alright then. Looks like I lost this one. I understand your dilemma, and I can see it in your eyes that you are true to your word. Although we're air pirates, we also have a strong sense of honor. You do not need to divulge the details of your quest. Understand that now you have my tr that you now have my trust. Be careful that you do not lose it. Thank you so Captain much. Captain Dine, thank you kindly. I will not disappoint you. Vice Heika, bring the girl topside and give her a tour of the village. I wouldn't trust them. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> now that's more like it. Way to go, Dad. You're the best. It's not Dad, it's Captain. How many times do I have to remind you? Hey, we're not on the ship, boyo. You're excused. Don't be late for dinner. And it's a crunchy door. You'll notice this game kinda has voice acting. Yeah. That's actually pretty common for the time. A lot of them didn't have full voice acting. That became more of a thing later. Vice, go on ahead. I'll have to stop by my house for a second. Why, what's wrong? I just want to freshen up. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. See you later at your house. Another thing that I should play at some point, Final Fantasy X. That's a good game. It's every air pirate's dream to be a swashbuckler, but you do don't you have to do more than sail to become one. You have to live as one in both your actions and your words. Only true swashbucklers can become great leaders. 
Oh, hey there, Vice. I heard that you guys rescued a, rescued a girl from the Valuans. Yep, let me introduce you to her. Hello, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Fina. I, I'm very grateful for all the hospitality everyone has been showing me. Oh, well, aren't you just the sweetest little thing? Well, Fina, it's our pleasure. Just relax and make yourself at home, okay? Nice catch, Vice. I guess your work has its perks, huh? Oh. Now we can save in a normal spot. Okay. So, I would stream longer, but I have some food. She's right. She should become a pirate, too. Absolutely. For now, though, I am actually going to call it. I want to try streaming longer more, but at the moment, I don't have the time to do so. But I will be streaming again on Wednesday. Uh, let's see. I always have to do a little bit of mental math because time zone's funky and stuff like that, but in my time zone, central, uh, I'll be streaming on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Uh, there's also a VCATS Discord if you want to, you know, get announcements to that. There's also a Twitter that I still haven't done anything panel-wise for. What's your time zone, if you don't mind? It's central. I'm in the middle of the USA. But yeah, uh, there's an I announce my streams on the VCAT server. There's also announcements for others of our team. Uh, Phantasmagora Cat, also called uh, Jelly Cat by us. And Loot Cat, they also do streams. Uh, Jelly Cat is sort of a variety streamer. She tends to do uh, things of all sorts of games. And Loot Cat, I'm still trying to figure out what Loot Cat does, because a lot of the time I see him playing League of Legends. But they're both really chill as well, and I would strongly recommend checking them out. But yeah, thanks for everyone who has joined in. <laughs> Loot Cat, I like that. Yeah, he's got a he's got a good name. Yeah, thanks for everyone who has joined so far. Uh Blessed One. Uh, Bulldog, Kishiru, I think Osai was here for a bit. Yeah, Osai was here. And to all of you, have a lovely day. Cheers! <laughs>